What's going on? We back. Good fella sports TV with the building. Appreciate everybody for checking back in. Make sure that subscribe button, bell icon button. Won't miss another video. Let's talk about Colin Kaepernick. Eric Reed is being reported by numerous outlets. I use the Wall Street Journal uh, article link to the description that Eric Reed and Colin Kaepernick and their, um, you know, gets that grievance against the NFL and a settlement. They were released, received less than $10 million. I'm guessing that's a piece. It's not known after legal fees and everything else. You know, taxes, I guess, being took out if that's what the case, how much they'll bring home. But pretty much we thought Kaepernick was getting 60, 70, 80 million, million from the NFL. And they're reporting that he's taking home less than $10 million um, in a grievance, both of them. Obviously, Eric Reed is still in the league. Colin Kaepernick still trying to get in the league. And my thing about it is um, I don't believe this report to be 100% factual. I think it's the league trying to save face. And from if a majority of the owners try to blackball, he's like 32 owners in the NFL. And you didn't even get a million apiece from each owner on average. It was a complete failure on the behalf of Colin Kaepernick. At least Eric Reed can continue to make a living for him, his family in the NFL. Kaepernick still got endorsements from Nike and probably other people funding him behind the scenes. But if it's true that they only got $10 million apiece for all of that, at the end of the day, $10 million is a good start for an investment for businesses and stuff of that nature. But for you to cop out for $10 million, which I'm not, I don't believe it to be true. Let me say that for people to jump on the on the horn in the comment section and, and trying to, you know, uh, you know, say, oh, CG, you believe it? Yeah, I don't believe it, to be honest. I don't believe it. You know, they can report $10 million, but maybe they gave them some money under the table. You know, in a briefcase, you know, that Uncle Sam can't tax. You feel me? And that's what I believe the situation may be. But I don't believe, you know, you go through all that and you can, you can abolish the CBA. And, and start over and reset the CBA and had a players get for a fair, a, a fair deal a year or two ahead of time that you caught for ten million. I just don't see that to be true. But if they did, hey, everybody got their number. His million was ten million, and after the fees and stuff, he bring home five or six million. Or after the fees, he bring home ten million. That was his number. You know, it's funny he asked for twenty million to play in the AAF or whatever the XFL. He asked him for twenty million, but you didn't ask for twenty million from the NFL owners. You know, that's how you, that's how other people could look at it. But I don't believe they just sat there and took it, took 10 million a piece. I don't think him and Eric Reed should have got the same thing. You know what I'm saying? Even though they both was in the same case, both was collusion. Kaepernick went through far more than Eric Reed. Eric Reed got to come back in the NFL, even though he said they was, you know, uh, harassing him with the drug test. He went through some tur turbulence too, stood by his homeboy. But at the end of the day, if, if, if they simple minded enough to take, just take $10 million and then Kaepernick, Kaepernick double back and tell the a XFL or AAF he won $20 million to pay. I'd be like, look here, bro. This report is you only took $10 million or less from the NFL for the grievance and the collusion case. How you going to come and ask me for $20 million? Well, you didn't get did $20 million. You didn't get $20 million for getting blackballed out the league. No, homeboy, we matched that 10 but 20 no. Go back to the NFL owners and ask for $20, $20 $30 million. He, I don't believe he copped out for less than 10 but... If he did, that's his prerogative. What he eat don't make us shit, right? No, but hey, God be looking at him different then. I'm telling you, they got money bags on the table. Nobody declined. Everybody declined to speak because of the confidentiality agreement when you do things like this. So it is what it is. The truth will come to light later down down the line. We probably fight, figure out what he got. But like I said, you hired you know one of the best you know lawyers in the country. You know, you come up with ten million dollars a piece for this case, nah, bro. Nah, he got if if this if it's on a if it's on a hook or in a contract for ten, he got money bags and briefcases sent to his crib with untaxed money, and unmarked bills, bro. Trust me, him and Eric Reed did. Eric Reed at least got twenty, thirty out the deal, and I believe Kaepernick got sixty, seventy, eighty million out the deal. But um, it is what it is. Let me know what you guys think. I'll link the article in the description. It's just hard to believe he went through all of that. It, I mean. All of that, and he cops out for less than 10. You were talking about 32 billionaires. Come on, you post at least got a million apiece from each one of them on average. But, hey, that's the name of the game. I heard that Robert Kraft was one of the guys that was influential and not wanting Kaepernick to um to play in the league again. He playing a role with Meek Mill and Jay-Z, though. But that's another conversation for another day. Goodfellow Sports TV, your boy CJ Goodfellow. Don't forget we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out to the email if you have a business question, inquiry, response, or video request. Other than that, keep sharing the videos. Keep holding me down. Best way for me to grow is sharing the videos. It's your boy CJ Goodfellow. We gone.